All right, chat. So I have ran into two ants today. They both have been low level. It is what it is, but they have tried to come through. So this guy put up for 17%. He hit a moderate. Went against my boy Queef as well. He tried to come through in the lane. As you can see, I blocked him twice, getting that shit out of here. He hit a three, and then he came through one time as well. Um, the, the, the footage is too boring, so I'm just going to you know give you this. This is what I think that you want to see. So that's the leader of the pack, the way he dribbles between the legs. That's how it looks. Leader of the pack between the legs. He didn't try to steal. Acceleration master. He jumped. And then heavily contested. So you can still keep up with him on the speed. Throws a moderate. Hits the moderate. So he might actually be able to shoot threes. Or, you know, just get a little lucky. And then, of course, go ahead and get a little block right there. And then, yeah. But let's talk about it. Alright, what's good with it, family? So as you know, Ant-Man is here. Before I get into Ant-Man, let me see where the leaderboards are. Alright, so Ken is the first one to make it to the legend. Good job, Ken. Y'all, so about five people passed me since last night. Me and Ryan was number one before I logged off. I'm too sleepy. I'm getting old. I'm going to let y'all have that shit. Y'all go ahead and push the leaderboards. Um, but yeah, Ant is out. And the first thing I want to say is that, of course, he is behind a paywall. And I was actually surprised that a lot of people did not know he was going to be behind a paywall. If you remember, the devs actually talked about having these cards behind paywall, just like they did when Biyama. That's why when Biyama is still not in packs, because he's behind a paywall. So Anthony Edwards, yes, is behind the paywall. I, I was so shocked that people thought he was just going to be in regular packs. That's crazy. But um, let's go ahead and talk about him. I'm actually not going to talk about him. Like the leader of the pack, you, you, you guys can read all that shit. But what's, what's important, right? So his dominancy. So it's guaranteed to trigger a posterizing dunk when the defender strength is 30 points less than his own, which is that tier one. 15 points less than his own at tier 2 and then when you get R7 you can posterize anybody whose strength is less than yours so let's remember 13 um, 15 and, uh, and less than his so what we're going to do just so you guys know yeah, I'm asking the wrong one hold on come here and we're going to go to your strength what we're looking at so at, at from what is it from R1 to R3 is 30 right so he's not posterizing Jokic, LeBron, Embiid, Zion and then here's Edwards at 691 so then you should track 30 from that which is going to be 661 he's not dunking on Markington he's not dunking he's not sorry he's not posterizing Markington he's not posterizing onto the Kumpo and he's not posterizing Clay Thomas he's also not posterizing Draymond Green and then, oh, he's not even posterizing Ricky LeBron James. All right. So then when you get to R4, maybe, actually, it, it might be R3. So from R3 to R5, when you knock it down to 15, so then he will not posterize Marketing and he will not posterize Hunter the Kumpo. He will also not posterize Clay Thompson. So he will posterize Glenn, uh, Draymond. LeBron so he's going to knock those two off and then when you finally get to R7 that's when you're going to be able to possibly posterize Markington, Hunter the Kumpo and Clay Thompson. Now remember Markington, Hunter the Kumpo and Clay Thompson could just get themselves a, a strength coach because what's that it's, depending on who you're main and right Markington, Hunter the Kumpo, Clay Thompson it won't be that hard to give you a strength coach that's going to give you what 10 points so you, you'll, you'll stop yourself from getting posterized. But then he, he still can't. He, he, will, he will not posterize Zion. He will not posterize Embiid. Won't posterize Luke King. Won't posterize Jokic. Even though Jokic can't block, right? That's just, that's just to stop the posterizing effect. And to just to remember, again, strength coach to get yourself back in the game with Clay onto the combo and marketing. So now that now let's get let's get into the comparison. And I'm not gonna like I said, I'm not gonna waste too much time. You guys already know what he can do when it comes to his skill, the dribble dribble, the acceleration, blah blah blah. So 
first comparison, actually, we're going to keep it to shooting guards, right? So in the shooting guard category, who first off, because um, I know you guys, you know, you're going back and forth on if he's usable, if he's good, if he's ass, if he's trash, you know, the, the, the world chat be wilding, y'all be arguing. If you ask me, he does not make my list. Um, the reason why is because at the shooting guard position, I used to use PG. But PG is getting nerfed again. He already got nerfed again. I actually do not know if PG is usable. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hold my opinion on the shooting guard position until I figure out if PG is even valuable in this matter anymore. But besides that, at the shooting guard position, I think that you can compare him to a Mitchell. You can play him exactly like a Mitchell. For those who have used Mitchell, Mitchell is also cheaper. So Mitchell's drive with explosive that shots defenders and dunks with power, dunk lock resistance increased. You do the dribble, you can immediately enter the phase. Um, what else? The legs, second half of the move. You got the pulling up from the free throw as well. So so same pretty much the same thing that Anthony Edwards has when it comes to the dunking ability, right? But then when you look at the attributes, of course Edwards is stronger, but Mitchell is faster by uh, over 116 points. His three point is better by 121. And if you do care about the mid range, um, maybe some of you are going to be using mid range on Anthony. Maybe you're just trying to dunk. I don't know. The mid range is better on Mitchell. Then we go um, the dunk is also better on Mitchell. And I know, like I said, some of you on Anthony is probably just going to be trying to come through dunking. Mitchell actually wins. <clears throat> I'm going to have to give it to later, P80. Um, the dribble is better on Mitchell. And that's probably all you guys care about, right? If you do care about the steal of the block, goes to Anthony. Defense goes to Mitchell. So that's how I think, that's who you can compare him to, in my opinion, when it comes to the shooting guard position. You can kind of quickly graze through the skills, see if I notice anything important. Let's see. Mitchell also has Slippery Worm, which again, you guys know how important Slippery Worm can be. Anthony does not. Okay. Three phase of the nimble crossover. Mitchell has the baseline dunk, the new baseline dunk, if you care about it. Okay. Mitchell has a floater. Anthony does not, if you care about it. Okay. And then the heat map comparison. All right, so we're going we're gonna to continue to speed through this. So that's who I think you can compare him to. Um, when it comes to holding him, shooting guard versus shooting guard, remember, I said you can literally, because you know the strength, if you literally just get yourself a strength coach and put 10 fucking points in your strength coach on Clay Thompson, you can possibly just guard him up with Clay Thompson, even though the speed is kind of big. That's almost 200 points of a speed difference. But... My slow ass on my NB, I can keep up with the best of them. So if you're good on clay, you might be able to keep up with them. But I did just want to point that out. You know, if you want to get a strength coach, you ain't posterizing Clay Thompson. Now let's go ahead and move on to who else you guys have kind of been comparing them to. And that's going to be Ja. <coughs> Excuse me. So we already know that, you know, the strength it goes to Anthony. We know that. The speed goes to Ja, the three-point goes to Ja, and the mid-range, if you care about it, goes to Ja. The dunk goes to Ja, the dribble goes to Ja, and if you care about the steel block defense and rebound, that goes to Anthony. Skill comparison, Ja has tier five when it comes to his shit. It ain't, it ain't too many people with tier five that is not legend, so that's actually quite impressive that an epic Jaws an epic, right? An epic has tier five. Giant Slayer, poster printer, and acceleration master. Most training expert. Quick effectiveness. Okay, so you have, you know, better chance to speed past the defenders. Who got the speed advantage? Jaw does. Yes, yeah, so you have a better chance to speed past the, the defender. Jaw is actually pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to, you know, me defending dunkers, I kind of don't like to try to stop Jaw because that man's speed. And uh, and the end because you if you remember Jaha got buffed 
with his dunk animations, which is why he's taken off from the free throw line. I don't like guarding this motherfucker. I, I, I don't. His speed and his animations is, is, is it's quick. It is fucking quick. I don't I don't like it. It's kind of underrated. Um, okay, so let's keep on going. Let's see. Anthony has strong finisher, which again is the equivalent of the dunk monster for our shooters. Top shot finisher. That's when the defender. Oh no, this fade away. Okay. Jai blocking shit. <laughs> Prince of Pursuit. <laughs> Jai out here blocking shit. Imagine that. Okay. Um, Jai has Slippery Worm. Again, Ant does not. Ant does have Dunk Monster if you're trying to abuse it, though. He has an Alley Oop Tier 3. Jai can catch Alley, y'all. Which is, okay, so let me talk about that real quick. Um, so in a shooting guard position, I do not think that your shooting guards are the main scorers. Um, the only, um, the only good or great exception to that would have been Harden, right? Harden as your main scorer, and you know, because Harden can actually knock down threes. We can talk about Booker and Clay, and you know, we can have an argument about that later. But yeah, in a shooting guard position, Harden is probably the only one that can lead your team. Um, let's see. Sorry, I feel like my voice is going out. Um, Ja has a floater, if you care about it. Okay. That's probably about it, huh? And then there's the heat map for you. Okay. Oh. Okay, so another person to possibly compare him to it's going to be LeBron but for shits and giggles let's take a look at Ricky LeBron because comparing him to King might be a little too unfair but we'll, we'll get to it first off what is his Ricky increased dunk rate and block resistance sudden charge okay so same thing you know being able to dunk speed Ricky wins three point goes to Anthony in the mid-range as well. He has better dunks, better layup, and better dribbles. It's not by much, though. And it's really, the dunks is not by much. 35, the three-point is not by much. But well, 65 is a big difference. Okay. So, I will, I will possibly play him like I will play James. Let's take a look at King now. Strength goes to King, of course. The speed goes to Ant by 24. Three point goes to King. Mid, if you care about it, the dunk goes to King. Dribble has the block. Defense and rebound goes to King. But of course, it's a little unfair because, you know, I mean, King is a legendary. But I just I have to get with y'all later. I just, I just wanted to see, you know, just to compare, see what they have. Since I would, I would probably play him like a Donovan Mitchell or a LeBron at the two position. Slippery Worm. Because again, I, I don't think Ant can be your main scorer. I do think you need to run double shooter. But just for shits and giggles, just wanted to see. I'm probably going to leave it at that. I don't think there's anybody else we need to compare him to, right? I gave you Donovan Mitchell, I gave you Clay, I gave you Ja, I even did LeBron, mm. what y'all think JB, some of y'all like JB, speed goes to JB, three point goes to Ant, mid-range interior, all that goes to JB, dunk goes to Ant, dribble pass and steal goes to JB, defense, not gonna lie, if I had to choose between these two, I'm gonna go with JB. JB is still on my um, is still on my dream team, by the way. I do need to talk about the dream team. A lot of people be asking me for um, tier lists and shit. Um, JB is on my dream team, so J JB would technically be on my tier list that you guys are asking for. Got that slippery worm. Yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, I would definitely, I'm definitely taking JB over Nant. 
ankle breaker four, steel specialist. Okay. Again, having that slippery worm is huge. He even has, he even has a brick wall. Both have catch and shoot, diamond save three. Got that baseline dunk we talked about. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it at that chat. I think I gave you enough information. And then now we'll just wait for people to upgrade their ants and see how they perform. I'll try to get you some more gameplay. Um, but yeah, as of right now, ant is not on my not on my list. Doesn't make the cut for me. Let me see if Queef is on. Let's see. He has Ant. See if he's running. All right, he's not online. That would have been somebody I could have gave you some gameplay of. Let's find him. Let's see how he's doing so far. Okay. Okay, right here. He took one loss in the 1v1 and won that one. Went to KD for a little bit. Won another one with Ant, lost another one, won two more with Ant, and then these are the three v threes when he when he went against me. But you know it's R one. We'll see. I keep I keep a lookout for you guys. But yeah, right now he doesn't he doesn't make the he doesn't make my lineup. But we'll see.